What's up, y'all? It's Mel, and welcome back to It's Mel, baby. How y'all doing out there tonight? Y'all good? Well, today, I have a small Kroger haul. Um, I hope I don't get chatty, because, y'all, I can do like this, do the haul that fast and be done. But, oh, excuse me. But, you know, I, I, I chat up a little bit. Yo, I, me, I'm not going to say it out my mouth. Because the moment I say it, then, then I'm going to be, uh, then I'm going to be looking for it. And I don't want it to be said I put it in the air. Even though I know a lot of people out here done already put it in the air. But I'm glad it's happening because um, I don't have to water my garden as often. And uh, so I'm kind of pretty glad about it going on. But... Um, it's just a lot of it. And so, um, I'm just not going to say nothing about that. I'm going to let it rip, let it go how I want. Let God and Mother need to take their course. Not that I could stop it either anyway, but it is what it is. And uh, yesterday evening, which was Sunday, this is a previously recorded video because um, I don't believe y'all gonna get this till Wednesday. But we have had so much moisture in the last month to where we should have a really awesome summer. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of vegetation. <clears throat> because we've had that much moisture and uh we had been getting sprinklings but now every you know my my yard is wet and i said that last week it's still wet um but you know i'm good i'm a deal I, uh, like I say, I haven't been warning my plants, and they're thriving, so. But I was playing with them yesterday, and I have to come up with a solution for some that I have. I think I've come up with a solution already. I just got to implement it. Um, you know what? Let me go ahead on and get into this little Kruger haul. Today, I brought the rest of the few little things that I'm going to need to make my meatballs and spaghetti in which I uh, I am making today. Someone asked me, will I be doing a video on making my meatballs? Um, I said I might, but everybody has their own way of making meatballs. So uh, I could do a video but I don't think I am because it's just meatballs. Um, I put garlic in them. I put a little parsley in them. Um, I'm depending on how I feel. I might sprinkle some parmesan and cheese in it. You know, then you put your bread, your breadcrumbs, and your egg, and you mix it together. Um, that's as much as I can tell you about that because I'm not a measurement type person. I cook on sight and feel. Oh, and I also put some salt and black pepper in there. Maybe a little, uh, nature season. And the reason I use nature season, it has onion, garlic, black pepper, and some salt. But, um... That's it, and I mix it all together, and I make little bowls, and I put them in the oven. I put them in the oven for about a half hour, 
because um, I don't necessarily want them to be thoroughly cooked because <coughs> I, I put them in my sauce uh, to finish cooking. Now, my only thing today is I'm not sure if I want to put my spaghetti in my meatballs and spaghetti so that they can be all coated or if I'm going to do them separately because I don't want all my sauce to be ate up by the spaghettis, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, let me do this little quick cover haul. It's not that much. Um, like I said, it, I just went got the rest of the things to go with my spaghetti dinner. So, of course, I got that garlic Texas toast. These are on sale for two twenty nine right now. Got me some bananas. That was my medicine. That's what I went down there for. A uh, simple court pump. I brought some fresh parsley and I brought some yellow cake iced in caramel. Caramel icing. Brought that. Um, Three dollars for two slices. They have a better deal than Walmart. I brought me one tomato. I brought some mushrooms to go in my uh my meat sauce. Brought my salad. That's what the one tomato for. I was looking for an onion, but the onions in the size that I wanted were destroyed maybe. Like they had pieces missing out of them or they they was too soft to the touch. So I left that alone. I brought one can of tomato sauce, one can of crushed peeled tomatoes. Yes, I need all that sauce. Brought some spaghetti. one of these. And last but not least, I went to Jimmy Jones. But I'm thinking this is going to be my late night snack. Because if I eat this, the meatballs ain't going to get off the floor. So see. So, yeah. That's my little Kroger haul. And then if I eat like I say I am, I won't be doing no midnight snack. Because yesterday, I'm saying that, but yesterday I ate six chicken wings and I was good for several hours. But uh, I did get hungry again. So we're going to see how this go. And um, I'm going to quit checking y'all up because I need to go make my meatballs. And uh, and spaghetti, and um, I got a little chopping and whatnot to do in order to make my sauce. Um, I would fry my meatballs because that's the way I was taught to do it, but I find putting them in the oven is less punishing. Less punishing. Now, what the hell are you talking about? Well, when you fry meatballs in the pot, they tend to pop everywhere. And I don't feel like being popped by grease right now. So I'm going to go ahead on and put mine in the oven for a little bit. I say 30 minutes, but depending on the size, it may any be anywhere from 20 minutes to 40 minutes. But anyway, y'all, uh, I got to get to chopping. 
and uh and rolling and all that other good stuff so i'm gonna go ahead on and in this video thank y'all for watching y'all be blessed have fun with your family and friends but responsibly y'all take care y'all stay safe out there and until next time y'all peace love and hair grease and i'm out